This is Nabir Watcher. It is November 20th, 2018. And some may worry that my voice has changed, and in a way it has, and only for three reasons. I got a new microphone. I was before in times past using the microphone from the laptop, and now I've got a new snowball. It's quite a bit better. And I've got a cold, and I've been breathing smoke. Those three factors will change the tone of my voice and sound. So don't worry, it's still me. In my last video, we've captured this spinning light that whizzed across the field of view of the cell phone. <clears throat> At four times the speed, we actually saw this thing flip across the screen. And then later in the video, I show this giant X traveling across this mountain an X across the mountain and the Sun simulator please go back and watch if you missed it now I got something else that's gonna blow your mind look at what MS youtuber had caught a twin moon where was this at let's show you it was on beach break in France in this area of the world so let's watch watch what comes up as the moon goes down let's enlarge this video I'm gonna speed it up though for the sake of time and let's go so here's the moon setting look at the bottom timestamp uh, you can barely make it out you can watch the real footage you can see this is 1 21 a.m. and couple of strong points okay, if this was a light it should have suddenly turned on it doesn't rise up right think about it number two it's spherical so if it was a light from a distant background then it should have beamed light all the way to the top but look what rises up see right light doesn't rise we know it's it it instantly turns on but yeah it rises up okay it wasn't a light that just turned on like a flashlight it rose up okay and it's spherical so don't bother listening to the trolls and don't bother saying that that's lights in the background fireworks explosion or another moon or I'm telling you that is a planet it's not a hologram they're hiding this with chemtrails this is not project blue beam it's not CERN it's not harp that is a planet planets don't cause strange tides I'm gonna go back and make another video with antelope being killed and more bizarre stuff as well we can only be explained through another planetary invading system with its magnetic fields and that'll be for another video MB3 shows footage of Texas birds hiding on the freeway it, and they're like oh that was just this or that well I'll tell you if that was harp then that should be happening more frequently. Harp's been happening for a long time. Yeah, there is a harp. There is a CERN. But if that was harp or CERN, why wasn't that happening at, uh, at least on a yearly basis? Why was that a one-time event? Okay, harp's been on using that for weather manipulation. I get it. And CERN's been on for a long time, too. <laughs> so it's none of those two, okay? Why would the birds do that? So, yeah, we saw it set. Let's watch that one more time. I'm speeding this up for us. Yeah, and there's a spider. Look at hey spider. That's what a spider looks like on a lens, okay? It saw it at night. We saw it in the day. And here it goes. It didn't turn on like a light. It rose up, okay? Remember that. When the trolls say, oh, that's just lights turning on, it rose up, okay? When you turn on a light, it lights up instantly. It's not going to rise up and form a sphere in there. See, it's round and then it sets let that soak in folks that's real I'll leave links to this camera I bet it'll happen again I'll be catching this thing in France it's gonna be happening soon <laughs> hopefully I wouldn't be surprised if they came to the credit out of the skies but they're gonna have a hard time hiding that insane light that's probably nemesis there's that spider at night see what a nighttime spider looks like in the sky see how small it is see the size can't see through it right pretty cool and then it sets okay, it doesn't just turn off like if you turn the light off it sets it doesn't go doop suddenly turn off right because it's orbiting it's not in the same orbit we have that's why it's 
rotating a different direction, and it goes exactly what we're saying. This thing is in an opposite rotation of our Earth. So, you saw it set before. Now, got something else cool for you. Check this out. Time traveling. I got something really good for you. I'm going to upload this whole Charlotte Capel's Chronoscope 20 minute, 41 second documentary showing her chronovision with these six emitters or sensors that pick up the wave fields that Walter Russell talks about from Tesla's design that she built. And she was basically uh, persecuted. They almost hung her. It's an incredible documentary. I'm going to load it up right alongside this video as well. Why do I say that? Well, Nikola T Tesla and all his experiments had a high voltage surge go right through his body. And he said he states that he saw the past, present, and future all at the same time. And he he actually built a patent for it. And when he died, they took all the stuff. They said his writings disappeared, but they actually snuck it off with the Nazis down in Los Alamos and built the time machine. And they embedded it into the buildings and they've been raising up these little kids to get them to in to go back and go into time and manipulate it and see what they see and by the way that was invented and in using it in the 70s so that I explain a lot with all this crazy stuff you guys remember Charlie Chaplin with the time traveler while using a cell phone unexplained all kinds just go back and watch time traveling proof videos and speculation just watch it why would i say that look at the vatican hidden picture take jesus picture jesus christ very possible very very possible he this lady was it was all over the news back then so here it is with the chronoscope it was a huge documentary with the nazis she's releasing this footage and there she is she was on the world fair everything back then it was amazing so why all this stuff let me show you something kinda cool because I think it might give you some interesting footage in the movie Soylent Green in the 22 minute 29 second mark the guy the lead actor his dad comes out and brings out these two books you guys see the years on there 2015 to 2019 Soylent Oceanographic Survey Report this movie came out in 1973. Three years after they said they were able to do this process, they saw a catastrophe coming and they put it with predictive programming right in front of your face in a movie that's soiling green. How about the predictive programming? I think that's how they saw many of these things. Like the Simpsons. The Twin Towers falling, written on the dollar bill, certain events are gonna happen they could change certain things Beavis and Butthead on the magazine the Simpsons Mandela effect yeah, it's gonna open up a lot of questions but I think that answers it let's look at some a couple more with the Simpsons one that how would they know that 30 years before it happened here I mean he actually went down the elevator you know it's it wasn't just you know it, he selected new who's me president but how did they know he's gonna go down the elevator just exactly like this Right, they had a chronovisor. It's what they call these people. So at risk of not getting a copyright strike, Ando Di Bisagio, uh, Bisagio, I hope I said his name right, but he was six years old. His dad was um, a high-ranking military guy. Got him into this program called Project Paperclip, I believe. No, Pegasus. Project P Pegasus. So in this project, they hired all these kids, and they basically got them to go through and view the future. There's a lot of reasons, but I just want to touch on some key things that he said in this interview, and you're going to need to watch this. Enjoy the rabbit trail. That he talks about the time portal machine was very uh, small, didn't take a lot of power, just used the standard 220 circuit, and it was embedded inside of a wall. He goes, where's the time machine? He touched the wall, and he goes, you got to overcome your natural ability to not want to not run into a wall, but when this thing turns on, you're, and he ran into it interesting story he talked he explains and uses Walter Russell's holographic universe wave field theory the real science it's, and, he, and he discusses Walter Russell so I think it, and Walter Russell is really big on wave fields and no particles and the electric universe so 
And then this rabbit trail, there is a link I will leave in the description box, exopoliticsblogs.com. It goes in all kinds of details and videos of this man and his interviews and all the government Tesla-based quantum access time travel technology for over 40 years. Actually traveling to U.S. bases, Mars, and uh, it's, it's crazy, right? It's quite the rabbit trail, quite believable as well. Um, so I hope you like this video. And again, if you haven't seen my son's simulator time-lapse videos, please go back and watch. Have a blessed day.